Hello and welcome to this mod first look video. Today we are going to be looking at the Putinger Teradisc 3001 and we're going to be looking at the Putinger Synchro 3020. Both of these are by Despo93, so let's jump in, let's get going. So in the store, both of these come under soil cultivation. Our first one is going to be a disc harrow, and that is the Teradisc 301. As you can see, it comes in at 16,000. Has a weight of 1.9 metric tons, requires 95 horsepower, has a working width of 3 meters, and a working speed of 11 miles per hour, which I think is around about 16, 17 kilometers an hour. I've done rough maths with this all the time. Now, in the store, we've actually got a really nice view of this for a change. And that looks nice. This is a really nice model. We've got the barcode on there. Really, this is a really, really nice model. So we've got the two layers of discs inverting on each other from each row. We've got the small tines and then the roller for the final seal. Soil preparation. Put your teeth in, Mr. Farquhar. But yeah, that's looking nice. We'll get down on the farm. Oh, look, we've got this one here. If we could get in a little bit closer, we'll be able to read that. But yeah, looking really nice. We'll get this down on the farm and have a little look. But first, we're going to jump into cultivators. And if you go to the bottom, you can see we've got the Synchro 2030. This one comes in at 14,000. It weighs 1.2 metric tons. Requires a horsepower of 90. Has a 3 meter working width. A 9 mile per hour working speed, which I think is, again is about 12 miles per hour. Oh, 12 kilometers per hour. And once more, we've got a nice view on this. It's sitting lovely in the store. Great detail. The metal, this metal pin parts here, they, they look really nice. Got a nice shine to it. Nuts and bolts we can differentiate between. Pins on the back here as well. This looks really nice. Really nice. So let's get it down on the farm. Let's have another look. So down on the farm, first up is the... Teradisc, the 301. Now, both of these should be pretty familiar to those that have played previous games. Probably going back to it's 15, I think we probably saw some of these to begin with. But yeah, really nice, really nicely done. Look great in the daylight out in the store. I think Despo, Despo single handedly carrying this game at the minute. <laughs> he really is. So next up is the um, Synchro 3020. Again, looks great. Nice detail there. We've got the, the cables coming out. Love it. There's great detail on this. You know, some, being someone that doesn't know how to convert mods, I don't know how easy it is to convert mods. <laughs> and again, I'm... I'm pretty certain this person works for Giants. The rate they're getting these out and how well they're going through. I, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Let me know in the comments. But let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get this on the back of the tractor. They've got a tractor each. And um, we'll get them working. See how they go. So first up, we're going to be rocking the Disc Harrow and the Terra Disc 301. Um, as you should have seen on the way down, these two discs and end plate fold up on both sides, making it a little bit narrower for transport. Nice little touch. Again, it looks really nice on the back here. Plenty of detail. Let's jump in. Let's get it cultivating. Actually, let's get it discing. I shouldn't be so lazy as to call it what well, it's not. So we get it lowered, pan out a little bit, and then we can fold them down, bring it onto the field, let the discing begin. So our two discs, our two rows of discs, it's again sort of interlocking but apart. So one going one way, one going the other, and then if we were going at speed, if you were to be chucking out a little extra dirt and soil the end plate there that's bouncing up and down an absolute treat you love to see it that would be uh, ensuring that the soil comes back in gets fingered by the tines and then rolled over by the roller at the end giving us the lovely seed bed but yeah that is really nice i like this this is one that i've used 
quite a bit on my smaller farm let's plays or not necessarily let's plays but on my private saves I do a lot of small farm let's um, private saves that's, that's what I like to do but that is really nice great mod beautiful stuff so next up is the Synchro 3020 and again the difference with this one is that it is a cultivator so it has the, the spades on the front the shanks and then we've got interlocking discs on the same row but they are opposing each other if you get what I mean so sometimes you get them and they're they're facing in on each other this time they're facing out on each other so they're opposing but in the lock and in the pan that there are and then we've got the roller on the back again very nice detail got our warning signs so we shall bring it in line now from the last cultivated disc <laughs> Um, demo I did I forgot to do the bit in the field I, I added it on the end and I added it in on the end I'm losing my voice I've done so many of these and um, yeah forgot to <laughs> actually put it in the edited thing so we'll show you the difference once we uh, once we're finished so we'll lower it down and again the spades the chisels at the front they'll rip the soil the discs will then sort of even it out, lighten it out, and then the roller giving you your final seed bed. And because we're going deeper with the shanks, the spades, they are uh, giving us stones. And we will crank it up to nine miles per hour. I didn't check the working speed on the last one, but I had my foot down. You guys would have seen it. See, without the end plate that we have on the disc arrow, you can see the soil that would be be losing into the next row into the into the neighboring strip so we'll try not to catch the end plate well there we are a beautiful set of uh, soil cultivators being a cultivator and a disc arrow of the Putinger brand and that is the Teradisc 301 and the Synchro 3020 by Despo 93 absolutely banging out the mods awesome stuff so then if we zoom in on field two and we'll go over and you can see we clearly have our is it going to pop stubble tillage from the disc because it didn't go as deep and then we have the cultivated from the cultivator and as we go over one more you'll see we get stones from the cultivator and not from the disc so there we have it. a great set of tools for the farm hopefully you've enjoyed this one if you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.